Hello everyone, this is me, and today we're going to review an app called Hiki. And why am I doing this now? Well, I think it's a good follow-up to the previous thing uh, video I made about how the disabled community, in my opinion, kind of sucks. Because, as you'll see, I've had a lot of conversations on this app, and it kind of just proves the points I've made that a lot of times there's just not much engagement, there's not much follow through half the time they just ignore messages entirely for no reason and then they never reach out to you so this is described as dating for the autism spectrum there's also a lot of there's also a friendship feature so i've basically been swiping for friends and let's take a look at some of the conversations i've had on this app and kind of just illustrate the points i've been making and honestly you know you're going to know i think it puts the most engaging ones first and then, you know, you're going to see it's probably going to get less engaging over time. Green is my, what I say. Gray is what they say. And let's get going. Um, th me, hello. Hello, how is everything? Good. How are you? Thanks, you. Doing okay? Cool. And again, noticing a little bit of a problem. One word response to that. Um, you know, I would hope that that'd be where someone would ask me a question or... You know, if I don't say anything in response, they'd maybe come up with their own. You know, just just something to engage that's more than a one-word response that doesn't really give me anything to build off of. But whatever, I give him another chance. What are some hobbies or interests you have? List lists his interests. Um, you, and I, then I, you know, list mine, and I say like, what games do you play? And here's the thing that really gets me too. Again, he just says cool in response to all that stuff I listed. Okay, you have a lot of things you could ask about. What type of poker do you play? What videos do you make? What do you write? Storm chasing, that's cool. What got you into that? There's a lot of things you could ask, and all you say in response is just cool. Again, I hope you're noticing a bit of a problem here. And then he lists what his games are, and he asks me what games I like to play. So I guess in a sense he does sort of, sort of ask, but it's like a response, not like a direct ask. It just seems less engaging, sort of like he feels obligated than he actually wants to. I list what I play, and again, he just says cool. And at this point, I'm just, I'm, all interest is gone. Because you can see, like, this is just going to be a trend where I have to carry the conversation, and it's just going to be... One word responses half the time, and he's not going to really give anything to the conversation and make me feel like he wants to be there or make me want to be there myself. So yeah, I say thanks, he says you're welcome, and you know, just lets it die. Well, whatever. Oh, you're just picking and choosing. That's one example. He says, you'll see, no. This one, hello, how is everything? Hi, everything is okay. What about you? Doing okay here too. What are some of your hobbies or interests? I like watching these. You... Sorry, I never got back. Took a break from the app and they list my interest. Okay, that's okay. I understand. But again, like you, I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit too hard on this on this particular person. But again, he could have asked a little bit more about what I liked instead of just saying that's a no worries. I understand. I mean, it's not the worst response. I could definitely see. I've definitely seen a lot of people who have not given me any sympathy whatsoever. So I guess that's a, a plus. Maybe I could give this guy another chance, but. Still, it just it seems like there's not as much engagement as there could be. As you'll notice, those are just kind of the exceptions. A lot of them are like this. This is a girl. Hello, how is everything? Everything is wonderful. I mean, um, normally that's when you'd ask how I'm doing, but... You know, you can sort of see the complaint that I have here. But you'll notice, as I go through this, a lot of them are like this. You ask the question, and they answer it, and they don't really give you anything to build off of. So it just forces you, if you want to continue this friendship or whatever, to basically carry everything. you got to keep asking questions. And, you know, all the while, since they're never asking you questions, you're wondering, does this person actually care about me? Does this person want to talk to me? Or are they just, you know, too polite to tell you to F off? Questions that you shouldn't be asking in a fulfilling relationship. This guy, we got to talking a little bit. Um, we talked about TF2 a lot, so kind of seemed to have a good conversation going. I mean, if you guys want to slow this down, you definitely can. And eventually we exchanged numbers, but it kind of fell apart after that. It just sort of seemed like he wasn't as engaged as he used to be. And then I sent a video to him that should have been funny, and he didn't even say anything in response, like LOL. So that's, that's definitely a pet peeve of mine. When I send you something and you don't even acknowledge what I sent you, like, that's a real pet peeve of mine. And eventually I pulled back a little bit and I said, okay, like, the ball was in his court. I just want to see what he does. 
he's never reached out to me since it's been se- it's been several weeks so yeah again it sort of just kind of illustrates the point that if I want this to happen, it's going to be on me, and that's not what I'm looking for in any relationship whatsoever right now. You know, I want one where if there's give and take, and I don't think that that's unreasonable of me to, to expect in any relationship. And again, no give and take here. Hello, how is everything? Pretty good. Again, are you going to ask me how I'm doing? Are you going to ask me anything, or is this just going to be me just carrying everything? I probably could have given some of these people more of a chance, to be fair, but I mean... It's kind of like online dating and a trend I've noticed. If they don't ask things like that early on, they typically don't ask them later. It's not like after the 10th message, they do an about face and all of a sudden they're super interested. It's probably just setting the precedent for how the relationship, whatever your relationship you're going for is going to be. And this is just not a relationship that I want to pursue is one where I have to do all the work and there's not much that I get back for it. You know, it's exhausting. And this guy, I think he's a dev on the app. Hello, how is everything? Oh, hi, Victor. Everything's going well. Good. You doing okay? What type of dog is that in your pick? And this is weird. He says, hey, Victor. Like, you already, I mean, it's good that you're being polite, but you already said hi. Did you just forget I existed? That's, I'm not going to lie, that kind of puts me off a little bit. Sort of like if I was talking to someone on Discord and all the, and you, like, I asked you a question, you answer, and I'm like, oh, hey, how's it going? It's like, What? <laughs> I mean, did I, did I honestly just forget that I was talking to you or what? I mean, just as, it's weird. It's weird. And again, you'll notice not much engagement. He just lists what his dog is. And, you know, he, that's when you could ask, do you have any pets? It's just something. But it's like, again, it just becomes clear that if there is going to be a friendship with this person, it's probably going to be more of the same old stuff that I've been dealing with my entire life. Where I have to basically ask all the questions. If I want to talk to you, you're never going to initiate with me. I'm going to have to initiate with you. I'm going to have to make all the plans. And sometimes you won't even respond to that. I mean, maybe that's giving this guy a little bit too little credit. But you can understand my frustration. And these are things that I have experienced in the past. So it's not just me assuming the worst without any base to go on. Here's another one, a girl. I mean, again, this really just shows how interesting this, this app would be as a dating platform if you want to do that. Hello, how is everything? Fine, thank you for asking. That's good. What cartoons do you like? I've been focusing on the 90s cartoons these days, to be honest. Cannot go wrong with that. Any particularly good ones you found? The Angry Beavers. Again, where's the engagement? At what point does this person ask me a question and not force me to basically just carry the dang conversation? You know, it's really frustrating to always be put in this situation. And keep in mind, I have autism too. Like, I'm not, I'm not perfect at that myself. So that's not really fair to put all that on me and expect me to carry it. I mean, I can do it, but I want something in return. I want engagement. I want people to actually be interested in what I do. I don't think that's too much to ask. And yet, on this app at least, it seems like that is too much of a request to fulfill. Oh, here's a... Hello, how is everything? Okay, I guess. Just okay? Yeah. Are you going to ask how I'm doing? No? Okay. Interest immediately lost. You know, I'm not interested in one-sided relationships. Um, Okay, this guy actually reached out to me, and he never actually saw my message, so of course he didn't respond. Can't respond to what you don't see, right? But there's another problem with this app that I've noticed is that a lot of people aren't online. Now, I'll be honest with you, um, given the quality of the conversations you've seen so far and what I've seen, I don't know if I'd really blame them for just losing interest and moving on. That's kind of what I've done at this point. A lot of these are are like maybe a month old at this point. I don't really go on here anymore. But it's it's sort of another thing. Like if I wanted to talk to a brick wall, I'd just go outside my house. I don't want to go and spend time crafting messages on an app only to not get any response. Like that's another problem. There has to be people, there have to be people online to talk to. Otherwise the app's a complete waste of time. doesn't matter what it is. doesn't matter if it's hickey. doesn't matter if it's match. doesn't matter what the heck it is. And this is another one that I have to say, he reached out to me a lot. And one thing I've noticed too, is it sort of just feels like, and he, instead of asking like what that is or more about it, he just says, oh, well, do you like this instead? Sort of just kind of forcing his interest in, into the mix instead of actually acting interested in what I'm do, what I like or learning about it. He talks about some stuff that's kind of personal, you know, but again, like that's kind of, I don't know, like, I'm not saying you shouldn't be able to talk about that with friends, but, like, we've been talking for, like, maybe a few messages and you just unload all this on me. Maybe you just needed some word of vent, but it sort of seems kind of intense. Of course, then again, that's probably not the worst thing that someone could do, but it also does make me wonder, like, is this just going to be you, you using me as some sort of venting place? And when I want to vent myself, 
there's nothing in return. And then we actually expe expe exchanged numbers and we, we talked a little bit, but it just, it kind of fizzled out. He took a, a week to reply to one of my messages and it's like, okay, that's not really the type of level of engagement that I want. I don't want to be friends with somebody who only like doesn't reply very quickly. I, I, want, I, I want to not feel so alone. That's not making me not feel alone. It makes me feel like, yeah, you're talking to me, but there's so many, but well, there's 50,000 more important things that you could be, that you're focusing on, like taking out the trash, doing the dishes. I don't want to be below your trash. And in fairness, he did reach out lately and it, it seems that he's like getting evicted or something. So I guess that would explain why he hasn't been responding, but I don't know. It's still not the level of engagement I want. Cause even then I had to basically send two messages to get a response to his initial reach out. And he hasn't responded to that one yet. And it's been like a couple days and it's like, I could maybe see where you're preoccupied, but I also have to wonder if like, this just isn't how it's, how it would be when you're not preoccupied. And you know, I could be friends with someone like that, but I don't think that relationship would be as fulfilling as I need right now. I need fulfilling relationships where I feel like I'm actually getting something out of them. Not just, you know, I talk and maybe once in a while I get a response back. And even if I am being too hard on him and he's actually normally really good communication, I'm catching him at a really bad time. What is that, like one person out of all of them so far that maybe I could have some sort of friendship with? But it could be worse, I suppose. Could be, it could be a lot worse. It could be this guy. Hello, how is everything? Good, that's good, yeah. What games do you like, um, Uno? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a question. Can you respond in a response that is longer than two words. That's, I, know it's, I know it's an arduous challenge that you totally shouldn't be meeting naturally because you should be showing more interest in this, but can you do it? Can you ask me a question? You know, what games do you like? And can you not say, um, Uno? It sort of comes off as, um, Uno? Sort of, you know, you can understand like this, the attitude that I kind of get off of that. And again, it's hard to read intention with text messages, but it sort of just seems like you're put off that I'm asking you questions. Is it any wonder that I never respond to this message? There's no engagement. There's Ugh, it's just so frustrating. And again, it just becomes clear that this is going to be me doing the lion's share of the work. And what do I get in response? Someone who gives me one or two word answers and never asks me any questions about myself makes me feel like they actually want to talk to me. And this guy maybe had more romantic interests because he says, you're very handsome. Not going to lie. Just put that out there. Maybe just testing the waters. Basically, you know, kind of say, I'm not, I don't swing that way. And we seem to be going, he seemed to accept it. And then I say, and he's like, well, what brings you to Hiki? And, oh, maybe making friends and maybe more possibly you. And he saw it and never responded. So another problem that I've seen, kind of like with online dating, where things seem to be going pretty dang well. And then all of a sudden they just pull the plug. I mean, I had someone do that, do that crap. Like just today, I mean, I sent a message like, hey, I could send you some poker videos if you want. Oh, I'd like that. And then they just left the chat for no freaking reason. It's like, why? What, what, what the heck did you, what, what's with you? Why did you do that? What suddenly made you lose interest? It's just, you know, and I'm trying to make friends and people are treating me like this on here. I mean, it's not okay with dating, but frick, I'd expect a little bit better with friendship seeking at least. I mean, jeez. Plus, it's not like your intentions. I mean, I literally said I don't swing that way. It's not like this message should have put you off where I said I'm only looking for friends and maybe more. You know, come on. Here's another another girl. Hello, how's everything? Born LOL. I feel there. LOL. What what YouTube videos do you like? I watch random videos. Well, okay. Uh, at least you're better than the um uno guy. You know, you, one of your responses was four words, and you said LOL, which made you feel like you're kind of more in, in, eager to be there. But again, there's just not much engagement. There's the responses are still pretty short. No no elaboration. I mean, how am I supposed to build off of random videos? Am I supposed to ask like what random videos or you know, and also the fact that you didn't ask me any questions. You're noticing a trend here. How many of these people don't ask you any questions at all? You know, it just becomes clear that this relationship, if I were to pursue it, would end up being me carrying it and not getting much back in return. And I'm not interested in that right now. And sadly enough, I think this is the last person that actually responded. A lot of them do this as well. You know, we're trying to make friends and I say, hello, how's everything? And they see it and they don't even respond. That's another person that did, saw it and didn't check. But again, that just kind of illustrates the point that why would I talk, go on an app to talk to a brick wall if I can just do it a, offline? A dev of the app that pulled that move. Oh, look, so you, hello, how is everything? No response. And you're a dev of the app and this is how you treat your pe the people on it. 
Maybe you're busy, but that's still pretty dang rude and not setting a good precedent. Hello, how is everything? No response. But again, they weren't online, but just illustrates my point. Hello, how is everything? Again, never saw it. So really, I mean, but again, talking to dead profiles is a waste of time. Oh, look, hello, how is everything? Saw it, never freaking responded. Again, same exact deal. Sent, um, never saw it. Saw it and didn't respond. I mean, and you're noticing a trend here. You're noticing a trend. How many of these people that I've sent responses to either never saw it or saw it and didn't respond? And most of those are guys, too. You know, I think there's maybe like three females that I've talked to on this entire app. And all of them were really engaging, too. Well, that's called sarcasm, means I don't actually mean it. But it's sort of like, why are you as a guy being this picky? I could understand being a little bit picky when you're looking for a significant other, but a friend? I mean, for frick's sake, like what, what about me is not good enough that I don't warrant a response? It really ter puts me off that a lot of people do this. And again, not all of them are like this, but it's sort of like if, I, if this is the number of people who, out of the total number who are gonna act this way, I mean, why am I even bothering with this? You know, if I wanted to get, be ignored, I'd freaking go on film fiction. You know, there's lots of places I can be ignored. I'm looking to not be ignored, not have the same thing happen again. Here's another one, reached out to me. Yeah, and again, I, I mean, maybe didn't ask as many questions as I did, but I seemed engaging. These were definitely not like one word responses or anything. And all of a sudden he just sees it and doesn't respond. And it's sort of like, again, ghosting. And that is that app, that is that app. So yeah, really fun times. I'm gonna ask you guys watching this an honest question. I want you to answer comments, whatever, just answer it if you feel like it. How excited would you be to go on an app like this and try to make friends? How excited would you be to talk to people like this and try to build a relationship where it becomes clear that it's gonna end up shaping up to be a lot more of take, take, take and not a whole lot of give and you know, not love much engagement, not much interest in you or your life. How interested would you be to talk to people like this? Whether or not they have disabilities, how interested would you be to talk to people whose conversation goes like that? I mean, I, I can't speak for you, but I immediately, immediately lose interest when people give me routine one word responses don't ask questions don't engage and you know just force me to carry the conversation and i'm going to tell you that the experience i've had on that app is a lot of what i've seen in the disabled community as a whole it really just is you have to carry everything you want to talk to them well you're going to have to ask all the questions they're not going to ask you any questions of you they're not going to engage with you you want to see them well they ain't good well you better freaking be ready to plan everything because they ain't freaking going to reach out to you and say when are you free and heck, you better be ready to be ignored a lot of the time too. Like those guys that I said, how is everything? And they ignored me completely. Because I've had people do that too. I've had multiple people where I'm like, when are you free? And then they just don't say anything. And it's like, well, what am I supposed to do with that? First of all, even if I was interested beyond that point, I'm not, I don't like being ignored. It is another pet peeve of mine that I freaking hate. Even if I was interested in pursuing it, how am I supposed to work with that? If, how am I supposed to get together with someone who won't even answer the basic question of when they're free? You know, how am I supposed to do that? How is anyone supposed to make a relationship like that work? Let alone someone with autism. And to keep in mind, a lot of people are, I would think are a lot less social than I am. So, you know, if I'm having trouble with it, what did people that aren't as, you know, aren't as intelligent or aren't as freaking socially ad adept as me gonna do? You think they're gonna do, you think they're gonna be able to handle it? Fuck no. This is a serious problem among the disabled community. And hopefully this review, this live review shows that. And hopefully people will, I mean, and I, I, I guarantee, because everyone always does this. They're always like, why don't you interact with the disabled community? Why don't you, oh, why don't you try harder? Yeah, you know, what is trying hard and in interacting with the disabled community got me on that app? A bunch of people not engaging and making me, not f making me feel like I actually want to be in that relationship. And just not even, half the time, not even having enough basic respect to acknowledge what I said. You know, just ignoring me. And this is common. This is common, it, it is a real problem. I'm not gonna go in, I'm not sure why it's a real problem. I think there's several reasons it could be. I mean, it could just be that a lot of people that no one's ever taught them that they actually need to freaking engage. I mean, I don't think they taught me that in school. I think I learned it, I learned it outside. But, and I definitely have to say that disabled programs in general, in terms of education, whatever, suck. I haven't got much of anything out of them. And I'm definitely gonna address that in another video. Um, so that could be part of it. Could also just be that they don't care. 
could also just be that they don't know how. But whatever the reason is, the, I mean, maybe it's not even the same. It's probably not even the same for all of them, but maybe a combination. But whatever the reason behind this is, it ends up with the same result. Interacting with this community is beyond frustrating. And in my opinion, it's kind of a waste of time. I mean, really, how, why would, would you rather spend your time do interacting with people who give you one or two word responses, if they even feel like responding at all, never ask you any questions, or would you rather, you know, do other things with your time, like play games, do puzzles, Ugh, whack off for all I care. Certainly that's not the most productive use of one's time, but hey, when the alternative is spending your time and, ha and effectively wasting it for something like that, it looks kind of appealing in comparison, doesn't it? So, yeah, I mean, that's hiki. And, you know, actions like that, com quote unquote conversations, and I use those, I, I use that term liberally there, believe me, quote unquote conversations like that are why the disabled community kind of sucks. And hopefully this video will, just, will send that message to people who keep touting it as some freaking godsend and keep blaming people like me who have just stopped trying with this community because they just are too frustrating to interact with long term.